Hey, what's up? Someone just asked about how we've helped people who have DACA. They're DACA recipients. They have the ability to work, even though DACA is not technically legal status, right? Legal status is either a non-immigrant visa, residency, and then citizenship, okay? So I know it's kind of strange, but anyway, when a person has DACA and then is maybe married to a spouse who's a resident or a citizen or has a parent who becomes a U.S. citizen, then that sponsor can file for them. However, if you came to America without a visa, without any parole, legal documents, okay, then if you have DACA, you can apply for advanced parole. Now, not everyone's eligible for advanced parole. And, but when, when, when and if you get that approved and you actually travel on it and you re-enter, this is where this is important, then you can adjust status in the United States, okay? We call it adjustment of status. So your interview, if you even have an interview, it's going to be in the United States. And here's the reason why. Advanced parole helps you to allow to lawfully enter the United States. This is what we call in the law, Immigration Nationality Act, INA 245A. You need to enter the United States legally for you to adjust status in America. There's no such thing as adjust status outside America. That's called consular processing. So terminology can be a little tricky or confusing. That's what we're here for. So follow for more, okay? If you have any questions, talk to you soon.